Hello, welcome back to Brand Switch Live. Today I'll be testing out the latest version of Flip Fluids. Uh, it's the experimental versions on my M1 iMac. And this add-on is uh, it's a paid add-on, but it's been developed for over many years. And I really like what they're, they're going with the development. And if you actually read the latest development notes, um, especially this video, you will understand what they're planning to create for the final versions. If you want to test out the free version of Blender Fluid Simulations, you can try the Manta Flow. This uh, tutorial by Olaf, the basic tutorial to use Manta Flow is actually really nice. So you can test it out. So what I like about Flip Fluid, however, uh, when you are doing simulations, unlike Manta Flow, you can actually scrub the timeline. So that's the difference. And yeah, let's give it a try. I download the latest versions and let me quickly show you. So flip for it add-on. This is the experimental builds. The one I'm using is the one from 30th of June. Okay, so it's quite recent and I'm using Blender 2.93 official. So flip fluids, I already have this installed. This is version 9.09. .09. So I bought the license a few years ago and now it's working and uh, I'm deleting everything in the scenes. So this is flip fluids. So with the latest version, they have this really nice paint panels to help you to create domains, to do the selection of the domain and also some batch render, etc. Let's create something very quickly. Like for example, a torus. For example, we want this to be a liquid object. Uh, first of all, with any fluid simulations, normally you want to create a domain, like a container for your fluid. So let's actually do that. It's telling you I haven't saved this file, so I'm going to save this very quickly. Save this as flip fluid experiment. I'm saving it into a folder. Experiment and so we have the fluid domain now and we have these objects that we can turn into fluid or obstacles etc. Let's just select this and turn it into fluid. So right away you can see it's become a fluid, fluid object and you can quickly select this domain. You can select it manually or select it from here. And to adjust it, we need to switch to these uh, physics properties. And let's just run this using the basic setting. So big. So now it's processing on my iMac M1. It's actually pretty fast because this is low resolutions. But that's basically um, how it works. And if you want another object, for example, another torus, like a, maybe this is like a Olympic ring. We simply select them and then turn it into fluid. So there's a couple of things like uh, maybe obstacles. Okay, obstacles, it's interesting. Let's use obstacles, this box. And actually with the torus, so we have our fluid simulations and we have our Torus, I'm gonna bring this up and this uh, box it's gonna be obstacles so and scale it I might actually use uh, geometry nodes because we have we, we have more control maybe I'll do that in a bit this guy can be obstacles we have also inflow and outflow that's for objects that's uh, emitting fluid and we have we have also force force is quite new so I turn this into obstacles, right? And we have a bunch of options. I'm just gonna leave it as default. Select the objects again. Select the domain. Reset the simulations and bake. So what I, like I said, what I really like about Flip Fluid is that the simulations is scrubbable. I mean, you can scrub it on the timeline. 
I don't know if the, the word is scrubbable. But you can see it's the fluid is reacting with the block um, it's really fast at the moment because it's a uh, really low resolutions but let's try let's give it a try uh, increase the resolutions okay by default it's 65 let's increase this to 100 resolutions oh yeah apparently you can visualize the grid that's nice and voxel count all right cool you can also increase the simulation speed or decrease it to make like a slow motion fluid it's calculating again while calculating you probably can do things like maybe we can try to change the obstacles at some point so it's already simulating so we have a result playback it's pretty cool you can Basically, the things with simulations is like, you know, like, like all kind of simulations, we need to calculate, we need to process it. Sometimes it takes overnight if you want, if you want like really high quality simulations. Um, but yeah, it's going to take some time. It's a little bit like when you're working with renderman, you know, like shaders and then you, you need to, you need to experiment and then you, you check the light and if you like the results you save it and then continue and so on if you don't like it you need to make changes and make variations so that's basically what it is with simulations this is the basic idea with the latest flip fluid i think what's really cool is that we have um we have a tractor or force so if i make this icosphere as a force we have now this flip fluid force field we have uh, a few modes point for surface volume I haven't tried all of them but surface volume um, seems like very interesting to try so let's try doing that this is gonna be surface force let's create another maybe create a cylinder oh, actually just another icosphere so we can compare what's going on and I scaled it and I turn this into force, force object. This one is going to be volume force. The strength is minus 9.8 by default. Maybe we can increase that. For now, let's let's reset the simulations and bake. So we have the we have bake simulations button over here. But for more details, we got to check it out here. So it's already simulating and you can see it's being something is pulling the fluid or oh, this is the volume one is pretty interesting it's oh yeah look look the surface because the the fluid is there's something pulling this fluid actually this surface so when the fluid get a little bit close to this surface it's starting to react that's really cool that's really cool it's almost like you have the the power of I forgot the the anime name Avatar Ang yeah we have the power now let's try actually animate this guy I wonder if that's actually reacting so stop the simulations reset so we have nothing in the scene but I can perhaps animate animate this ball animate the balls while it's animating and stop it maybe at the beginning it's doing nothing and then it's animating a little bit later select this and rebake again this is resolution 100 you might want to double this like 200 250 or 300 um, yeah and let's check out other stuff so it is reacting and then animating yeah I think it is also animating uh, that's cool um, this is the cache 
file size. You, you see how real time it is? Flip fluid display, surface final, okay. I believe flip fluid also have material. This is what cool about flip fluid is like they're giving you a set of uh, like library of material as well. So I can give it like, for example, blood or caramel or coffee or my favorite. I think the beer looks looking quite nice. Beer, okay, beer, surface material beer. This needs to be cycles. And we might need to have some light sunlight let's take a quick look while it's still simulating I'm also rendering and it's probably doesn't like to render while it's simulating but since this is how it looks so far So this force might be influencing the fluid a little bit, but it's not strong enough to pull the fluid. It's just gonna, it's just doing the, the throw. If I, if I increase the simulations, the result's gonna be so much better. And I think the fluid actually have the flip fluid now have new options with a different uh, algorithm somewhere. Let's see. D plus status flip. Okay, there's flip fluid and there's APIC. APIC. Let's try this as well and look at the result. Reset the simulation again. Select our. Okay, select our icosphere object and this time I want to increase the strength to minus 30 Whoa, okay maybe double it double it for now fall off okay let's yes, fall off maximum force gravity scale there's anti-gravity anyway bake so now it's using a different type of simulations APIC I believe it's for smaller type of fluid and the, the fluid simulations is actually using the real world scale so we keep that in mind it's currently our simulation is 8 by 8 by 4 meters in 3d okay this is using a different fluid simulation algorithm uh, you can see the fluid is more seems to be more volatile this guy is being <clears throat> the fluid is being pulled by this object and then this object is animating the fluid tries to follow no actually yeah I think it does try to follow this force still baking this baking is actually pretty fast like that while doing playback I can I can stop this let's reset and this time I will I want to increase the resolution double the resolutions it's gonna be uh, a lot bigger in terms of cache and take longer okay while it's simulating anyway we can we can play around with this cube let's reset the scale for example this is the original default cube I want to use this with geometry nodes so I'm using geometry nodes I'm gonna transfer this bring this up and maybe scale it Okay, 
maybe I don't need to translate this, but I will translate it in this object mode. And I might create an array. I can use geometry nodes to randomize the to create an array and then randomize this maybe right so this is the obstacles objects I will create another cube and I will turn this into nothing and then I will create an array I have this object. I will create geometry nodes and I will create line object maybe. An instance, another instance, the cube. Okay, right. So this is exactly what I'm trying to do. Alright, so this is going to be the new obstacles for our object, for our fluid. <clears throat> so let's turn this into obstacles object. Well, it's still, it's still simulating. What am I doing? I think I accidentally delete. So you can see, I believe the fluid is still using the old obstacles, right? So it's still, it's doing something in the background. So it's pretty cool like that. So you can make changes and it's still respecting the old block. Okay, you can see it's, a, it's quite a large and the simulations take longer to calculate now it's only 24 percent but we can already start to create a different simulations maybe i can randomize the the rotations or the scale here i'll do that in a bit so this cube we, we're gonna hide it or just put it outside and then hide so we have new obstacles that we can use and place it inside the domain let's see our simulation so far this pane is very uh, very handy for a lot of things so we have base simulations add objects um, object display solid show render okay that's handy select objects you can select the domain command line controller organize outliner okay we can put op flip objects into the collections display and render beginner tools tip okay this is also this is really handy okay this is a full package um, it's a paid add-on but it's really good value I think the simulations might have okay still calculating but we can try so this is what we have so far maybe we stop it we can actually stop and then continue and resume the simulations which is pretty cool and handy this is our beer material so i wonder if the cube so this is a free fluid objects we have the fluid surface okay the cube is not being rendered we have our light Okay, it doesn't quite look like a beer. 
but we can try different material select the select the fluid and then oh yeah okay select the domain and then with the domain we actually have the flip fluid materials water clear beer caramel wax orange juice so this is orange juice doesn't quite looking like orange juice it's been a little bit opaque Okay, this is red wine. Yeah, okay. I can leave with that. So we can continue with the simulation. So I really like, like I said, I quite like the the interactivity. <clears throat> so we can continue from frame 82. Maybe we can try this. Take a look at simulation so far. Maybe I can select this and then hit the backspace and then we just want to see the liquid so three different rings colliding with the fluid surface and the force of icosphere is attracting the attracting the fluid it's trying to go inside the icosphere so this part is uh, The playback is a bit slightly slow, but you can use a play blast maybe. Okay, we can continue. I'm trying to find uh, the information about the how many polygon we, we actually have. So anyway, back to this. I'm gonna reset the simulations, and I think I will switch back to flip fluid algorithm and I will turn this into an obstacles object oh wait doesn't seem to be liking it okay I need to manually doing it because this is a Geometry nodes object. So I wonder if this works now. Uh, RZ 90 degrees. So I want to have this. I want to have more Olympic ring. Or the donut. and run the simulations so 250 frames baking processing and now it's calculating okay uh, this atmosphere is pulling this force is pulling it inside the volume this one is pulling it as a surface and let's take a look let's take a look at the other options we have render tools I believe we have like a batch render option somewhere. Beginner friendly mode, okay. Launch, bake, and launch render. That's really cool. So let's select our domain object. Domain is like the world of the fluid. Calculation is actually pretty fast. So we are already up to here. You can see the the obstacle is doing something. Okay, that's funny. Okay, this guy was actually keyframe. Oh, 
going away with obstacles if it's animated i need to turn on export animated mesh so i forgot about that let's take a look at some informations so we have flip fluid materials that we use okay cool flip fluid advanced settings i i rarely touch this unless we have maybe like problem if the fluid is exploding and we need to increase the we need to play around with the value that's gonna take some times flip fluid world this is the blender unit this is like um quite large size water if you think of water volume eight meters is quite large if we make it smaller and then maybe it's gonna look quite different like yeah any type of fluid is doing that flip fluids is by the way it's not like fluid for gas it's a different thing with manta flow that comes with blender for free you can simulate like ga gas or smoke but flip fluid is more like a like this kind of this type of fluid solid type of fluid now it's getting crazy we have so many things happening with obstacles and we have the other blocked this guy let's check this guy out hide everything This shape is pretty cool. So fluid is fluid is fun, but fluid is also taking a lot of time to process. Let's stop this for now because I want to see a render. You can render this using cycles or also you can use renderman. Let's turn on viewport denoising. So you can see the final render. It's quite nice. Even though it's pretty basic. So with fluid, a single single light is actually not very useful. With fluid, I think you can and you need to have like a sky texture or environment texture to really appreciate a fluid. It needs to it's gonna render nicer if you have a proper HDR. HDR Heaven or HDR Pack Studio. So the better your HDR, the better your fluid's gonna look like. You might want to turn on transparency and transparent glass. So this is wine, wine glass materials on these obstacles from created using geometry nodes. Yeah, looking quite nice. Let's stop this. We can continue the simulations. We can actually reset it. So when doing fluid, I suppose. Um, we don't go with a high resolutions at first. I should reset everything here. Let's go back to 100. So we have this guy with the animations. I want to delete the animations. Delete keyframe. This one also have animations. Delete. Go to the top view. Rotate in the Z axis 90 degrees I'm gonna put this up here this is just the obstacles S X
Okay, let's try. Uh, let's try another thing. Monkey. Okay, let's monkey. Let's use the monkey and forces. Point forces surface. Let's use surface. Surface force. We also have point, which is useful for single points. Okay. There's a curve guard. Curve guide force. Let's try that anyway because we are testing this out. Circle. We have a circle curve. Turn this into forces. And it's a curve, okay. This is surface. We can also use points. Points, I haven't tried it. Okay, now there's a lot of things going on. It's big. This is our fluid surface. So it's being pulled there. It's falling into our obstacles. All right, it's doing it's doing its thing. The icosphere is pretty strong, but you can see the Bezier circle is also pulling, pulling the fluid a little bit. That's really cool. So I work with the fluid before, and you want to increase the fluid like 200 or 300 in terms of voxel resolutions, and then you you bake it overnight and come back the next day or a few hours later that's the thing with fluid you set it up everything run the bake simulations and you go out for coffee and come back and check the simulations and hoping that your machine doesn't crash or you're hoping the simulations looking nice and correct because you need to read you need to direct the fluid anyway it needs to look nice in the end that's what matters so 100 yeah resolution of 100 with this voxel quality is looking quite decent it's a little bit fat it's looking a bit, a bit fat but uh, this this kind of thing sometimes you can use a uh, displays you can reverse this to get a thinner in a looking fluid it has smoothing by default seems like but a proper fluid I think shouldn't make like a uh, balls like that so our resolution is probably a little bit low let's check this once again without anything We have the curve things happening. It's quite uh, volatile after a while, but we still have the same amount of fluid from the donuts. So this is a uh, still like a nice, nice controlled um, domain of the fluid. Should be good for like things like venom or something. Okay, fluid. Whenever fluid doing this, this is not a good thing. It's probably could be a bug. This kind of thing which shouldn't happen. But it is often happening with flip fluid. I noticed that. Maybe if we increase the resolution, this all this stuff will disappear. This kind of fluid that's stuck, stuck on the domain. Okay, it seems it, it settles in the end. It's, uh, it's quite decent. 